Hi, good evening, everyone. Well, good evening, everyone, just two people. <clears throat> Antonio, Adriana, hello. Listen, just got here. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hi, Adriana, welcome. How are you? Fine. Happy, tired, sleepy, hungry? Everything. Mm -hmm. Also, tired. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it, it's kind of difficult to understand what you're saying because uh, like you have connection problems or microphone problems, I don't know. But there is there's uh, interference when you're talking. Yes. But thank you for being here, Diana. It's, it's a pleasure to, to, to be here with you guys. Yes. Antonio, hello. Christopher, Christian. Hey, guys. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hi, hi. Christian, uh, Christian. how are you, Christian? Fine, teacher. I am I'm fine today. A little tired, but fine. All right, a little tired, but fine, but fine. That's that's really good. That's really good. I'm I'm glad to hear that that you are. Uh, I mean, you're fine. It's good. You're still alive. <laughs> the only bad thing is that we're tired. You know, it's late, and uh, we we would like to be sleeping. Yes, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're just waiting for the rest. Christopher Holman, Laura, hello. Thank you guys for being here. How are you guys? Tell me, how are you? Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay. It's good to see you guys again. It's a pleasure. Thank you for Hi, being here. Hi, teacher. Hi, Laura. Hello. All right, we're just waiting for everybody else. We are waiting for everybody else. Today we have a few things to do, or maybe a lot to do. And we have a very, a very interesting topic today. It's a little complex, but we will try to understand it as, uh, or I will try to explain it to you guys as better as I can, or as best as I can. And as with more, as, as with, uh, I'm gonna give you a lot of examples and details, okay? Because it will be a little, a little confusing, yes. We're gonna start. Let me let me take attendance, people. Hold on. I'm trying to do something here. One move. Let me just go uh, and here, 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 here. All right, twenty first. Okay, very good. Uh, let me take attendance, people. Let me do this. Adriana Maria Turcios Najarro. Present teacher. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. All right. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes, thanks. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Hi, Christopher. How are you? Good, good teacher. Oh, okay. You, you, you My said... camera doesn't doesn't work. I don't know why. Oh no, it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. It happens. Yeah, I was I was checking some messages earlier in this group, and they were talking about Zoom. And uh, apparently, Zoom is having a lot of uh, problems. Yes. So it might be that, or maybe it's your computer. All right. Yes. Yeah. In my cases, uh, uh Zoom sometimes fails. Yes, I don't see the, the, the options. 
So it's probably Zoom or or maybe it's your laptop or your desktop. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. No. Gabriel Beltran Perez. See him over there. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. No. Okay. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Yes. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Hello, hello. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Present. Yes. Hi. Lucy Natalie Juarez de Ramirez. I see her, her message. Present. Present, teacher. <laughs> oh, no. You sound sick. Yes, I have the flu again. Oh, no. That's. <laughs> Yeah. That's very, very, very soon, <laughs> I think. Very, very. I'm sorry. It, you, must be, you must be frustrated right now. Yes, very. <laughs> Thank yes. you. You should take some medicine right now. And, uh, well, if you have national medicine, take national med medicine. And, uh, well, I wish you soon recovery. Thank you so much. Let me continue here with Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Rojas Rosales. I see his, uh, his name over here. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gabriel, thank you. And Antonio, thanks for letting me know. Oscar Armando Romero. Not here again. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Roberto Carlos Hernández Cruz. Rosalina Alvarado. You check here. I see Elibaldo. Elibaldo, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello, hello. How are you, Elibaldo? Very nice, teacher. Happy, sad. <laughs> so so. So so. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you for being here, Elivaldo. All right. Let's start, people. And uh, well, not everybody is here yet, which is bad, because uh, I told you that we were supposed to present the activity today. Yes, do you remember? Yesterday we were working on this activity about a product and how we can we can uh, we can uh, well you know the activity right you know activity which give me a second okay so let me let me start with this with the activity but uh, since not everyone everyone is here yet I I will just need the uh, the help of the ones that already finished and the ones that have the presentation right now. So, uh, which of you has the presentation? Or does anybody have the presentation? Okay, Ariana, can you please share it? Or is it possible for you to share it? Yes. Okay. Oh, let me allow this to, to, to happen. Yes, it's ready. Oh, wait, okay, thank you, there you go. Wow, soda. <clears throat> our, our new product has best what? Uh, the features are Refresh, treat, uh, an energy drink, bigger and cheaper, and innovative taste. 
the materials need is sugar, water, artificial dyes, caffeine, and soda. Uh, the benefit of building the prototype is taste the flavors, identify the design of the can, improve the receipt, um, make a big benchmark, and define the size. All right. Is that it? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Excellent, fantastic, very good, very good. Okay, that was a good presentation. Very, very creative and colorful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I think you were working with uh, Rosalina, right? Rosalina and Antonio. And Antonio, yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Okay, is there another person that has the presentation? Teacher. Yes. I, I sent the presentation to the chat. But I am driving right now and I can share it. Yes, yes. Let me see if I can share it with you, boy, with you guys. And don't worry, you're not you you you're not uh, going to read. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm opening here. Uh, I'm opening this thing right here. But it's taking some time. Okay, this is making my, my computer super slow. <laughs> what, what, what? Okay. In the group, right? Let me see. I uh, will look for it. I am looking for it. It's here. Let me save it. Give me a second, I'm downloading the, the, the file. Okay, done. Okay. Let me open it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It won't load. Okay, it is ready now. Wow. Okay, guys, I am sharing the PDF file with you. Please confirm if you see it. Yeah, guys, do you see it? Yes, we do. Yes. Yes, very good, very good. And look at this. Look at this, look at this. It says colorful, pupusas. All as you can imagine. Don't be like all, all you can imagine. Uh, well, it's okay. It's okay. Look, people, do you find this, this uh, pupusas attractive? Guys, what do you think about the, the, the colors? <laughs> no, no opinions? It's nice, it's different. I'm sorry? I think it's nice. I want to test in that. Okay, yes, yes. All right, all right. Well, in my case, uh, or uh, in El Salvador, we have a very, very, uh, a very, I'm making this bigger. In El Salvador are very, very, there's, there's very a, active. yes, yes, we have a, a very uh, vast or a variety of, of labors of pupusas. I have seen 
uh, ayote pupusas. I have seen banana pupusas. I have seen uh, pupusas with 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 uh, camarones, and I don't know. It's like a lot of things, right? Many many flavors or many options. And look, colorful pupusas is another option. Look, uh, it says here features artificial color dove, spicy dove, mixed dove, and ingredients, the family pupusa. Guys, what is dove? What is dove? Any ideas? No? Okay, dove masa. Let's continue here. Materials, artificial color, spicy, flour, oil, beans, cheese, pork, chicken, noroco, shrimp, squash, tomatoes, cabbage, onion, and water. All right, all right. And it says benefits of building a prototype. Potential clients can taste it. Clients post uh, our products in their social networks. We can improve our product according to the comments and we can change materials or add new ones. Okay, yes, and that is it, that is it. This activity is from Christian. I don't remember who Christian was working with, but he did it, all right. now. Uh, from the ones I just got here, do you have the presentation of yesterday's activity? Who else? <clears throat> Hello? Nobody? Pamela, we cannot hear you again. I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't know. Mister, I working with Christian yesterday. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Yes, that's, that's good, that's good. I didn't remember, okay? I, I have the picture though. I have the picture of, of the groups in my cell phone. Yes, but uh, I didn't remember. Okay, very good. That's okay. That's okay. If uh, there are no people, we're going to, more people, I mean, we are going to continue. Okay, we're going to continue and I'm going to show you the presentation. Let me close some things that I'm not using anymore. Let me close this. Teacher, I work with Pamela. And uh, only you, just, just you guys? Yes. And do you have the presentation? Yes, Pamela. Okay, then let's, let's, let's take a look. We have worked with, with jacket, fireproof yes. jacket. The fetch features is the jacket is, is fireproof and waterproof. Um, a trending design mm -hmm. and design with cool materials. Mm -hmm. And it come for our age and our body types. The materials for prototype is nanotechnology clothes, silk twill, right. special scissors, um, bottoms and zippers, and swimming machine. Wait, hold on. 
the benefits of building a prototype is we can make a pro testing to see if we are using the correct materials and we can identify any flaws and improve it. Okay, okay. Can you go back, please? Go back. Here, here. Uh, <clears throat> wait, I don't, I don't have the option to, to, to write. Can you give me the option? Uh, Pamela, can you give me the option to, to write? Okay. Uh, the first one says nanotechnology clothes, silk thread. What is thread, people? Hilo? Hilo? Yeah. Okay. And, he, and in here, yes, yes. Special scissors, scissors. Okay. Scissors. Scissors and titanium uh, buttons, zippers, sewing, sewing. Sewing. Uh -huh. Sewing. No, we. It's called, it's called ooh, sewing, sewing. Sewing. Sewing machine. Okay. Yes. Sewing. Just that. Just that. Only, only the pronunciation of it there. Okay. Excellent. Just let me stop sharing. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you guys for presenting your activity. Yes. All right. Uh, I think we have finished. There are no more people. Right? No? Okay, then. I was going to show you the presentation. Let me show it to you right now. It's being shared. Can you please confirm? Guys, look, do you see the presentation? Yes. yes. Very, very good, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. Hey, let me tell you, this month, this month is flying. This month is flying. Like next, yes. next, next Tuesday is over. Yes, it's, it's almost finished. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, like, remember January? was like January was like three months. It lasted like three months, January. <laughs> oh, it was very long, but yeah, February it's it's flying. It's flying for real. Yes. Okay. Uh, we did this already. We were presenting the activity. We finished this part. Okay. And look, I want to show you this. Wait, no, no, hold on. It's not going to be here. Let me go to the book. Let's go to the book. I thought we had more, more information there, but no, no, we don't have more information. Let's go to the book on page number 27. Page number 27. Okay, we are here, look. We continue talking or dealing with unit number one, sorry, number three. And this unit number three is about the production line. Okay, guys, can you please uh, tell me or what you remember about the production line? What is the production line? Tell me. The production line. We were talking about this yesterday. Do you remember anything? A sequence of different steps or process to transform the raw materials in a product. Perfect, yes, yes. That is, that is one of the best definitions that you can get. Okay, thank you, Elena, very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, she was saying that it's a series or a sequence of steps. Okay, that you have the, the, the goes, or it's pretty much the beginning of a product from raw material to the real product. Okay, that's the production line or where everything starts. Okay, where everything starts. That's what it is. Now, look, we got the, the objective for today. It says, I will be able to design a basic plan for the manufacturing process of a new product. 
Then we have part number one. Part number one says, we got a couple of questions. Does your company manufacture products? Guys, now I ask you, does your company manufacture products? Yes, I work in a, a forward factory. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do. Okay, very good. Flow. Okay. All right, all right. Anybody else? Hi, teacher. Can you hear me now? I double see you. <laughs> yes. But can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I'm connected with my cell phone too. I think it is my computer, my microphone, the microphone of my computer. Yes. What you need to do but, is is, uh, is uh, wash your computer with with water. I think. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why, but, but um, now you can hear me. Yes. Uh, in, my, in my company, um, my company is a company of services. So it's, we, we don't manufacture products. It's more than with service. Okay. All right. So you don't really, really manufacture a product. Okay. That's that's no. okay. That's okay. Is there another person that that, that manufactures products or that they, as the company manufactures products? No. There isn't. Okay. Next, are production processes updated frequently? Yes. Probably not, yes, or probably not. Guys, tell me, are production processes updated frequently? We review the process uh, almost one a year. Once a year? Once do, you a year. do you consider that, that it is enough? Uh, I think yes, it's okay. enough. Okay, I don't really know. We don't I'm... change frequently. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's fantastic. I don't really, I cannot give you an, an answer because uh, I have never manufactured the product, so I don't really know how the process is. Okay, and that's 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 okay. Yes. All right. Any any anybody else? Are production processes updated frequently? Okay, no, no more opinions. Look at this one. Is there a quality control department at your company? Is there a quality control department at your company? What about this one, guys? Yes. Of yes? course, in each process has a quality control department. In, in your company? Yes, in my company. Okay. In each process, we have a quality control. Wow. <laughs> okay, that means that, that your company has to be very, very, or your company is very demanding. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Okay, okay, excellent. Holman, I'm sorry, Holman. You were saying? <clears throat> yes, in my company, there, there is uh quality uh quality quality control okay you have you have a uh, you have this department okay yes we That's have good. with 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 products uh we we had with uh with food, with mm. I don't remember um, ma materia prima, raw material, bro, bro material. Yes, material, material, bro material. Mm -hmm. 
we we work with uh work ma uh, work material raw material let me send to you in the chat so it's very it's very raw material mm -hmm. yes uh, because we we create products to to eat it's very okay. important uh, quality for uh, quality qual uh, quality control okay uh, can you can you give us a name of a product that you uh, manufacture or produce there are, uh, there are some lots are are the dairy products okay but like cheese per, uh, perfect meal uh, uh, citratos okay. citratos. No idea. <laughs> Yes, uh, are for for create um, castillo. Ah, to make uh, uh, mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, Processado cheese. We we buy product to like 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 lack la salud. But you don't sell cheese, right, or milk? No, only raw material. We okay, I understand. I understand. I understand. Boy, that is the other company like Lactolac, La Salud, uh, do the process of create uh, cheese. Ah, okay, I understand. I understand now. Yes, I kind of, I kind of know. I kind of know how to make cream cheese uh, hard cheese and, and cuajada because i used to work in a in a quesadilla well i worked in a quesadilla like in 2010 in 2009 like almost 13, 12 or 13 years ago it was a long time ago yes i, I kind of remember remember how to make this material it's it's very disgusting <laughs> It's very disgusting. You have no idea. No idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Very good. Uh, guys, let's continue there. The same question. Is there a quality control department at your company? More opinions? That's what I need. Teacher, in yes. my company, uh, a quality control uh, review the process for airplanes. The process. Yes, correct function functionality. Functionality. Uh -huh, for the airplanes. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Machines or something. Yes. With, with machines, computers. Yes, everything. Uh huh. Okay. Is it difficult? I think <laughs> I miss financial, just pay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. It must be difficult, right? It must be difficult. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. Thank you for your opinion. Anybody else? No, okay, perfect. Now, look, we're going to continue, guys. Here, number two, three managers are in a meeting to discuss the production process of a new shampoo. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. Let me read it to you guys. Listen to me, listen to the pronunciation, and also you will have the chance to ask me questions about the vocabulary. Let me start reading. I just need to find this spotlight. spotlight. Okay, here. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that, the, that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right, 
I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will, will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find, find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the, re, what the revision step is about. There you go. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary or about the pronunciation? Or about a group of, of, of well, words, a sentence, expression? Teacher, in this context, what means uh, wonder? Wonder. Mm -hmm. what, do you think wonder what do you think wonder is? I I am thinking Maravilla, wonderful woman, oh, the yeah. seven wonder of the world. Oh, okay, I understand. In you. this context, what is? Oh, in this context is when you are, you're asking yourself. When you're asking yourself. No, I wonder, I wonder, I ask myself. Me pregunto. That's what it is. Si will be me pregunto si recibieron una copia, right? That's what it is. It's like you are asking, you're asking yourself. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's, clear. that's how you use wonder. Yes. Okay. More questions, people? No? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Very good. Now, look, uh, we're going to practice the conversation in pairs, in pairs. And also we're going to discuss the questions with your partner or with this pair, and you're gonna answer the questions. You're gonna discuss the questions and answer the questions. But before you do that, you have to practice the conversation. Okay, practice the vocabulary. And uh, well, if you have any questions, I will be monitoring everybody. Okay. Yes. Let's do that. Let's join the groups. Yes. Yes. I'm available right now. You are. Available or unavailable? Available. Okay. Uh -huh. I was like, unavailable, all right. If there is a person that is not available, do not worry. Just wait and be patient. I will move you to another group, okay? Yes. Let's, let's go, let's join them. And I will be monitoring to see who, is, who has joined and who hasn't. Let me get ready here. <clears throat>
us if the call is too wrong. A second quality control will go very high. Of course. Let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Hi. Um, I was wondering if Amela is still here. Yes, teacher. Yes, can, I know. I know. Can, I know. can you can you move me with Fatima and Holman? Sorry, I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's because I'm two times in the in the meeting. I think. Yes, I know, I know. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Let me do it. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I I, that, I forgot about that. She she joined the the class. We have to. She has to. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Nothing. No. No. Okay. Look. Uh, this is the the, the conversation. I know you were reading it, but can you switch roles? I would like, okay. to, I would like to hear you guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. I start now. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing. Producing. Or producing. Producing. Produ producing. Producing. Or new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality? Control will go very high. Of course. Let me revise <clears throat> my files. Greg, could you find out fit out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay, okay, yes. Excellent, excellent, very good, very good. Now, uh, what you can do, what you can do guys now is practice. I'm sorry. Uh, you can do the part number three. Yes, here. You can discuss okay. the questions or talk about the questions. Yes. Okay. Yes. And also you can re reinforce each other with the, comp with the, with the vocabulary here. All right? Okay. Yes. Okay. You can do okay. that. Okay. Let, me, let me go to another group. Okay. Don't worry. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control steps should be re repealed once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out in the production manager, if the production manager is around, I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Uh, is here. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> I was listening. Uh, how how do you pronounce this word? If wait, um, this one, uh, this revise, revise, yes, revise, and, and down and the last one, the last word or well, the last line. Go down to the last line. That one is revision. <laughs> oh, okay. And that one is revision. I don't know, like revise, revision. Maybe revise, revision, right? Revision. 
siguiendo la misma secuencia, revise, revision. Okay. It's, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. Revise mm -hmm. and revision. Okay. Do you want to practice again for before answer the questions? Yes. I now I start. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if you re, re, revised the received. Uh, uh, received. I wonder if you received a, a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I would like us the, to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that sounds point great. Marta, would you would you mind telling you if the to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Great. So you find out if the production manager is around. I need him to clarify what the revision steps is about. All right, okay. all right. Hey, wait a second, wait. I wanna be famous too. I wanna be in the yeah. screen, on the screen. <laughs> I, let me talk. Let me talk. There you go. I'm there. I'm there. Look, famous. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, one more. The word cl clarify. Cl clarify. Clarify. Yes, clarify. Clarify. Is there another one? Um, teacher very, is repeated or repeat you can say repeated repeated or the best way for me repeated 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 yes repeated repeated yes repeated uh -huh, exactly, exactly, yes. Repeat it. Repeat it. Mm -hmm. Or if it is easy for you, you can say repeat it. It's okay. More questions? I think no, teacher. Okay. If you, if you want, we can, we can see the first question. Go ahead. The first is um, no, a different group. Sorry. All right. <laughs> okay. Control the step should be repeated. Ah, uh, okay. The, the first question. Yeah, I think okay. he wants to repeat the step. I don't know. You agree with me or no? Yes. If the quality control step shall be repeated uh -huh. once the product uh -huh. is finished i think it's the suggestion uh -huh. for real i don't know if you agree with me yes 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 okay okay right <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i'm here hi teacher hi hi <clears throat> In the second one, 
state the cost and what another one? Mm. I don't know the second. Mm -hmm. What do you um translation find out in Spanish? Which one, sorry? Let me let me share it with you. In the book, you mean? Find out what one is. Uh, oh. Find out. Dis discover. Discover. Well, discover, okay. Uh, but the, the, the word in Spanish, what? Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Find out. Okay, thank you. A very well, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the second one. Step. I would like to hear you Excuse practice me. the conversation um, before you continue with the second question. Can you practice the conversation? Yes, it's ready. I wanna, I wanna hear you. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I wanna hear you. I wanna hear you guys. Thank you. Yes. Who start? Okay. okay. I would. I wonder if you receiving and the copy of the analysis for the product process. Production process. The pro production process. Uh -huh. I have, thank you. I have, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. It like you the receiving the Okay. I like it like no, I'd like I'd like I'd like I'd like I'd like I'd like use the receipts to speed the verify that we are ready to start produce production or producing or in the new shampoo Right. I would like to know in the quality control step will be repaired once of the product is finished. Yes, that's a good, a good point. We, great, Marta. Would you mind telling use the? I'm sorry. Would you mind mind? To mile. Here, here. Use. Mine. Okay. Would you mind? Would you mind? Mile. Use the the cost of, the cost of to the room and the second quality control. Will you very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Right. Could you find out the product? Out. Could you find out? Could you find out of if the pro product manager is the Aaron? I need have to clarify what the re revision speed is about. Okay, excellent. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yes. Okay. Let me just stop here. Continue, guys. Let me go to a different group. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Made the second question. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Welcome back. teacher. Wow. Yes, of course. Excellent. You are very intelligent. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let me share the book with you. Would you mind practicing the conversation? Yes, it's a pleasure. I would, I would like to hear you. You're, you you want to be Lucia, Adriana? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. 
I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis from the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like you, I'd like us to revise the steps to verify that we have ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Martin, would you mind telling us if the cost on a sec quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need I need I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Teacher, and yes. a question in in the last in the last statement. Mm -hmm. I need to him. No. I, I need, need to him to I need to him to clarify. No? I need him. I need him. I need I need him. Yes. It's just like like is right. I like him. I need him. I need him. Yes, I need him. Okay, and Lucia. I wonder if you received that copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Sophia. Perfect. I like us to revise the step to verify what we are ready to start production or new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out in the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Excellent, excellent. Guys, can you yes? And it's a question, it's a personal question. Okay. okay. Uh, when you have to when you want to to explain one thing who, who is um um give me a second one thing is um agotador what is the word that you can use agotador for example my work is agotador my oh. my studies estuvieron agotadores my journey is what was a agotador. What word you can use? I'm putting putting that in the chat. The, the, walk, the walk was tiring. When well, the past form, right? Or the walk was exhausting. But tiring sounds better there. The walk was tiring. The trip is tiring. Working in the school is tiring. Yes. Going to the is tiring. Mm -hmm. Tiring. Yeah. Tiring is could be in Spanish. Um uh, what was the word? It's the same as tired. Cansado. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it can be taken as agotador in Spanish too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tiring. Exhausted. Exhausting is correct too, is right? Yes, it's also correct. Yes, it's also correct. Okay. Okay, teacher. It was okay. I have some question for here. Okay, it will will in, investigate is correct. Investigate. I will investigate. Yes, I will yes. investigate on in the internet about Whose home and purpose prepositional statements? I will. It will search for that and 
in Google. Okay, we have to practice, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, or you can you can ask me later on. You can stay in the last ten minutes. It's not a problem, and you can ask me, and I can explain that to you. Yes. If you wanna help to me, if can yeah. tomorrow, please, because okay. today I am in, in two classes. I am in my theology class and oh, in me. my English class. Uh, just a just a Tuesday. Okay. But tomorrow I am I am free. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. It's fine. No problem. Yes. Right. Hey, thank you, teacher. I see you tomorrow after class. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Very, thank very you, Mike. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. Fantastic. Now, uh, you told me you finished, right? We're going to we're going to present the answers or share the answers in the group. I I think I still have one more group to monitor. Yes, I do. I have one more group to monitor. Is the last one. Let me go to that one, and after that, you will get the notification to go back to the main session. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Hi. Are you alone? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hi. Did you practice? Did you finish the activity? Yes. Yes, the, we, the we finished. Oh, okay, okay. Are you ready? Of yes, course. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. But before before we go to the sharing part, I would like to hear you guys practice the conversation one time. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be Marta, okay? Yes. No <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, I I will be Lucia. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to review the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what clarify. the revision step. Clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? I'm just double checking. No. No. We're good. Okay. Very good. Now we're gonna go back to the main session and over there we're going to share our answers. Let's go back there. Let's go, let's go. Hi, we're back. Well, not everybody is back. We have to wait a few seconds. To get everybody. We're waiting for one, two, three, four, five, Five people, four, three, two, one. There you go, now we're good. We are ready. Let me share with you this, the questions. 
We got the first one. What is the product uh, Lucia, Martha, and Craig are discussing about? Guys, can anybody tell me the answer? New shampoo. Come again, please. I'm talking about a new shampoo. Okay. They are discussing or talking about a new shampoo. Taj, do you agree with Rosalina? Yes, teacher. No, 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 we don't, we don't. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, okay. Very good, very good. The second question, the second question, what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? Tell me. Is the cost to the room? The cost? The cost, cost to, to run? This one, the cost okay. to run a second uh, quality control? Quality control will go very high. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. If we if it, if it go with, if it, if it, uh, I cannot say that. If it will go very, very high. Okay. If it will go. If it will go, sometimes that happens to me. You know, I have tongue problems. I have a problem with, with, with my tongue. In Spanish, I cannot speak. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to, to understand me in Spanish. It's very, very bad. But I try to improve every day. Yes. Okay. What is the other one? You mentioned only one. Guys? You mentioned only one step. Can you mention the other one? The revision step. Okay, the re revision step. Okay, okay, it can be taken as a step, yes. All right, and the last question says, what did Craig suggest about the production process? Tell me, what did he suggest? Repeat. The, pro, the quality control step. Yes. And the product is finished. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Guys, do you agree? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Let's go back to the first line. Look at this sentence. It says, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. People, do you think that this is a question? Guys, hello. Maybe yes, teacher, but no in a question form. <laughs> I don't know. Not in a question form, okay? Okay. Anybody else that has the same opinion, a similar opinion or a different opinion? Teacher? Actually, actually it's a question, but don't have a, a question structure as, for example, am I or do you like, it? for example, like that? It's a question, like when in Spanish we said, um, okay, todos leyeron la XX? It's like that. It's a question, but it's not question. No, but todos leyeron is a question in Spanish. Yeah, no, but todos leyeron is a question in Spanish. I can't explain that. It's, I understand, I understand, I understand. I understand. Es como lo que le llaman indirecta. <laughs> yes, yeah, like that. I don't know exactly, how exactly. do you say that in, in English. Exactly, exactly. And look, as you can see, we have two different answers. We have one answer with uh, from Martha and the other answer from uh, Craig. All right. So it means that this is a question, but like you have been saying, the question doesn't have a, uh, well, this sentence, doesn't have a question structure, okay? It doesn't have any auxiliaries. It's a sentence, a sentence in the present form. Look, wonder is the present. 
this is not the sentence, okay? It's just like, like uh, the condition there, okay? So it is a question and like uh, what Fatima said, it's indirect, okay? We like that, huh? We enjoy that. In real life, no? It's not good, right? It's bad, it's bad. All right, let's go down here. We're gonna find out find out about that over here in part number four. And look, we got it. How to use indirect questions, yes, no questions. How to use indirect questions, in this case, yes, no questions. And look at these people. We're only going to read this. And then I'm gonna take you to the presentation. Use indirect questions to ask questions in a more polite manner, manner. An indirect question expresses the same meaning as a direct question, very important. But it does not present question word order, okay? Or like you guys said, it doesn't have the structure of a question. It doesn't have auxiliaries, okay? Therefore, it's not a direct question. But let me, before we get into the math problem here, okay. I am sharing the presentation with you again. Please confirm if you see it. Do you yes. see the presentation? Okay, fantastic. I'm, I'm gonna show you this, look at it. And look at this. It says there, find the mistakes. Before we go to the grammar topic, I would like to see how much you understand without studying the topic. Now, we got a couple of questions, eight, eight sentences here, okay, eight sentences. And I need you guys to find the mistake, okay? Find a mistake in each sentence. I'm going to give you, let me see what time is it. Um, I'm going to give you three or four minutes to find a mistake in each sentence. Um, live will be uh, this uh, and and the word live no. now Guys, are you ready? Yes, almost. We're going to see the mistakes. Oh, I don't like that one. 
this one is good. Yes, this one is good. Okay. Let's take a look at the first one. It says, do you know where does Nayib Bukele live? Have you found any mistake here in this sentence? Do you think it is correct? Teacher. Yes? I think. No. Uh, do you know where Nayib Bukele live? Yes. Teacher. Yes? I don't think so. Uh -huh. I don't think so because because I can I can see two auxiliary do and does. Mm -hmm. If if we are we are asking to you, the auxiliary is do. Do you know where Nayib Bukele live? Does if is um, does uh, less? Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, Isabel mentioned. My opinion. Something, I don't know. Some, yes, Isabel mentioned something earlier. Holman mentioned something very important, and you mentioned or you supported Holman's idea, and it's pretty much what you guys mentioned. The auxiliary here, this one is not necessary because we have the question right here. This is the normal question: auxiliary subject verb. The rest is not really a question. I mean, because we don't have, it doesn't have the question formation. This is not correct, okay? And as Isabel said, we need the S here, okay? This is not necessary. Do you know where Nayib, Nayib Bukele lives? Yes, okay, that's how it will, it will go. And this is the indirect question because we want Najib's location, right? What we have here is, the, is the, the, the indirect question because we want the location of Najib and with where is, is when we're asking about the location, all right? Second sentence, do you know when is the principal going to ask for the activity? Do you consider that this sentence has a mistake or mistakes? What do you think? Do you know when is the principal going to ask for the activity? Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, where <clears throat> what's Principal. Oh, principal. Principal. Mm. principal. principal is the, how can I tell you this? The person that leads a school, director, directora. <laughs> okay. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Do you think it is correct? Teacher. Yes. It, it can be. Do you know when the principal is going to ask for the activity? Exactly, exactly, yes. Look, this is the question right here. I agree with them. Okay, exactly. This is the question right here. We got the question, do you know? From when, from when we are going to be asking the indirect question? We don't need a question there. Because it will be double, double question, and we don't need or we cannot, we cannot use double question. Okay, so this is is going to be eliminated or changed, and you're going to put is over here. Okay. Yes. Do you know when the principal is going to ask for the activity? Okay. Yes. Okay. This is, a top, this is a very, very complicated topic and confusing, and it's difficult when you speak. It's difficult when you speak. Yes. Another sentence here, can you tell me what is she talking about? Can you tell me what is she talking about? Do you think this one is correct? It is, it is same, 
It's same to, to the last one before. Could you mention, uh, what is it? Can you tell me what she is talking about? Exactly, exactly, yes. We got the question formation right here. Can you tell me is the question formation? Uh, what starts the indirect question? So we don't need another question right here. So this question right here is not necessary. We need to change it to a statement. Okay, it should be like that. Can you tell me what she is talking about? Yes, that's what Magdaleno said, all right? No lo puedo decir al revés, me duele, me duele el cerebro. Can you tell me what is, is she? Can you tell me what is she? It's difficult for me to say that. Ya está programado de que es she is, she is en ese caso. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. Next, could you mention where did she buy her shoes? Could you mention where did she buy her shoes? What about this one? Tell me. Is it correct? Is it incorrect? The mistake is the verb did. Is what, sorry? Could you? Mm -hmm. Is the verb did, did. Okay. Could you mention where yeah. she buys her shoes. Okay, Luke, could you mention? Okay, we got the question formation there. Where starts the indirect question? This is not necessary because this is for uh, for questions or negatives. Yes. And we need to change the verb to the past form. In this case, it's going to be bought. Okay. It'll be, can you, could you mention where she bought? Where she bought her shoes. Oops, I should be writing with, with the normal keyboard. Next, I would like to know if she is, uh, if is she attending today's meeting? What is the mistake here? The bird, uh, the world is. Okay, here, in these cases, we are not starting a question. Okay, this is not a question right here. But with this, with this expression, I, I would like to know, or I like to know, with this expression, we can ask an indirect question, all right? So this one has to be switched. You have to switch the order of these ones. Okay, if she is attending to this meeting and you have to eliminate the question mark. Okay, yes. The next one, look, could you find out how long is she going to stay in the building? Do you think this one is correct? No. Maybe it's the, the same mistake. Maybe it's the same with, could you find out how long she is going to stay in the building? Okay, it's the same mistake, it's the same mistake. Like I told you before, it's easy when you see it, but it's difficult when you speak. Your brain gets confused. I'm telling you for, I have, you know, experienced this. I, I, I have, I went through this, this, this uh, I went through this problem, went, when I went through this, I went through this. It was difficult for me to 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 say the things correctly, you know, because your brain is is like you know, it's now. Look at the next one. It says, "I don't know when did she start her classes. I don't know when she." When she, when she, she, her brain is already uh, automatic. When did she start her classes? The yeah. same thing here, all right? We eliminate this because we don't need this, this over here. We cannot ask a question in the middle of a sentence. We cannot do that, okay? We cannot ask a question like this. 
That's why it is called indirect question because we cannot make this a question. So here, when she started, right? With ED started, simple past, excuse me. Okay, started. There you go, started. And the last one, would you mind telling me where is the nearest station? What about this one? Would you mind telling me where is the nearest station? No, we're good. In this statement, in this statement, I can't. Uh, I can. I can watch some. Mistake. I can. Okay, I understand. I understand. Guys, have you found? Have you found a mistake? Teacher. Yes. It can be, would you mind telling me where the nearest station is? Yes, this is the problem here. We got a question formation right here. This is question word order. This is question word, where is the nearest station is a question. We don't need a question there because we have a question right here. Where is the nearest station is a question. Okay, remember that the question is auxiliary and then the subject, okay? It's backwards. So in these cases, we're going to use is at the end here, right here. Okay, and it, it is like the same as Christian or what Christian said. Would you mind telling me where the nearest station is? Okay, that's how it goes. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, now I'm going to be doing this. I'm gonna do that later on. Do you have any questions? No, okay. Now that we, we kind of know how this goes, we kind of know how the topic goes or what the topic is about. We're going to see the definition. Look at the definition. It says right here, Read with me. Indirect questions are those type of questions that do not follow the question word order. Also, these questions do not take any auxiliary such as do, does, did, have, has, was, to mention just a few. Or maybe the auxiliary is there, but the auxiliary has to go after the subject. Okay, yes. I think we, we got it, we got it. Uh, I kind of uh, didn't think this definition through. I didn't think it through, to be honest. Those questions. Uh, let's say this one, Let, let's remove do not. And instead of do not, let's write my not possibility. Okay. I cannot see that. Uh, might in this case, sounds better. Might. There you go. Teacher. Yes. What that means? Mm -hmm. Might. What? What is the meaning of, of that word? Podrían. Well, in this case, no podrían. Yes. Okay. Also, uh, these questions might not take. Any auxiliary such as do, does, did, have, has, was. But uh, some of them, they take auxiliaries, yes. Some of them, they take auxiliaries, but you have to change the position of the auxiliary and the subject. Yes. A question? Teacher, when the, the, the indirect question finish in a, in a, an AS, when R, uh, we ha we have to write question mark or no? No, you. For only, example, you're okay. only going to write you're go you're only going to write the question mark when you have this at the beginning. 
If you don't have a question formation at the beginning, then you're not going to use the question mark. If you use I was, if you use I wonder, I was wondering, I would like to know, I don't know, or I don't remember if, in those cases, you're not going to use a question mark. Yes. Okay. Only with do you know, okay. can you tell me, and could you tell me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now, down here we have the, the, the expressions that we can use. Some of them, some of them, okay? Do you know? I wonder if. I was wondering if. I would like to know if. Uh, can you tell me? I don't know. Could, uh, could you tell me? And I don't remember if. Okay, I don't remember if. Questions about these expressions? No? Okay. Here. I didn't see that. Look at these questions here. Examples, sorry. No, but look at this. Look at this one. Do you know where is the map or do you know where the map is? Which one is correct? The second one. The second one. The second one, right? The second one, yes. The first one, no, because we have double question and we cannot do that, okay? That's grammatically incorrect, okay? The correct one is the other one. Do you know where the map is, okay? Let's take a look at some examples. Uh, a volunteer, please, read them, read, read. Anybody there? I I don't know where I left the document. Continue with the other, the, the, the first ones, the first two, please. I wonder if the intern is making the necessary changes in his report. Okay, look at the, look at the first one. I don't know where I left the documents. We don't need the question with where here, okay? Yes, remember that we cannot make a question in the middle of a sentence. If we make a question in the middle of a sentence it's because we are separating that with a comma, with a period, or probably with a semicolon, yes. The second one, I wonder if the inter is making the necessary changes in, this, in his report. Next, the next two, uh, let me see. Help us, Erivaldo. Erivaldo? Okay, he's not there. He's not there. It's okay. Yes. Rosa, help us, please. She's not there either. Okay. Mrs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't remember what she was talking about. <laughs> the other one, please. Excuse me, the other yeah. one. Could you find out where the meeting room is? Okay, okay, look, I don't remember what she was talking about. Okay, we got it correct over here. Look what she was, not what was she, okay, yes. Uh, could you find out where the meeting room is? Not where is the meeting room, okay? That's good. The last ones, the last ones, uh, let me see. Oh, Magdalena was raising his hand. Go ahead. The last two. Okay, two. Um, do you know who cleans the warehouse? And do you understand what she is saying? Okay, okay. Look, do you know who cleans the warehouse? Do you know where? Uh, do you know who cleans the warehouse? And do you understand what she is saying? Look, we got it correct here. We don't have the auxiliary does, and we don't have the question formation right here. Yes. Now. Do you have any questions? 
I wonder if you have any questions. No? Not teacher. Teacher in the last one. So yeah. you, you first. Yes. Okay, in the last one I'm confused. Because mm -hmm. when you are when you are doing a question with with to be, you have to write to be in the beginning. Mm -hmm. What is she saying? Saying, for example. Mm -hmm. I'm confused in that. Okay, I understand. The same the same thing happens with all auxiliaries, including B. Okay, if we change this, what is she saying? Then we're making a question right here in the middle. Okay. We cannot make a question right here because the question is here. Do you understand? And then if I ask you, hey, what is she saying? Question, right? It's a question. What is she saying? What are you eating? What are Actually, you? Actually. Mm -hmm. Actually, the second part, mm -hmm. what is in, in color blue? Yes. Actually, the second part is not a question. No. It's an affirmation, present, right? Or oh, in past. This one. Uh huh. Yes, it's a structure for an affirmation. The question is the first part. I understood that. No, no. I understood that. No, no. We're talking about indirect questions. The indirect question here is what she is saying. Yes? Because imagine this situation. Mm -hmm. I am in a class with you, okay? And I am not listening mm -hmm. because the teacher is boring. I'm like, no, 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 teacher, not teacher, not teacher. <laughs> and then she, the teacher asks me, or, or I don't know, she's saying something important. And I ask you, Magdaleno, hey, do you understand what she is saying? Right? I'm asking you indirectly about what she's saying. Yes? So we're not focusing, we're not focusing on this question. We're focusing on indirect questions, and it's this one. Okay? Yes. We want to know, we want yes. to know what you understand about, about, about her words or from her words. All these, all of these, all of these are the indirect questions. That's why they are in a different color. Yes. Because we are, uh, we're indirectly asking the person to tell us. Yes. Okay. More yes. questions? The, oh, yes. When, yes, I, I think <clears throat> that I understood. Okay, I told you this. This requires a lot of practice. It is. It is confusing. Yes, it's just that. Yes. Okay. No, it's not. This is. Just need practice. Exactly. 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 That's what we need. Practice. And uh, yeah. Look, and uh, we have the practice here. We might not have the 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 oral practice today because we don't have a lot of time, but we will have the the written and grammar practice. Look at this. Let's read examples from the book. I wonder if you, this is from the conversation. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Not a question, but it's, a, it's an indirect question. It's an indirect question because I need the answer. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. You have to answer, okay? You have to answer, even though the question is not being asked directly. Yes. Compared to, or compared to, did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? This one is a direct question, okay? You're going straight to the point. Did you? Like asking directly. And the other one, you're like, mm, I wonder if you received, right? I'm not asking directly. 
I'm asking indirectly. Second thing here, I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the, pr the product is finished. You are expecting a person to give you an answer. Yes. I would like to know, like you're waiting or expecting a person to give you an answer. I would like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Now look, compare this indirect sentence or indirect question with a direct question. The direct question goes like this. Should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? That's the, the direct question, okay? Yes. Now look, we got more, more examples here. Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost to, to run a second quality control will go very high? Compare it to, will the cost to run the, a second quality control go very far, very high? Indirect question, direct question. Here, Craig, could you find out if the production manager is around? Compare it to, is the production manager around? Direct, okay. The other one, indirect. Notice that if introduces the indirect question, which will have a sentence order, okay? Not a question order, sentence order, subject plus verb, Helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions, okay? Yes, and we got a punctuation over here. When the introductory segment is a phrase, the resulting statement with the direct question, sorry, with the indirect question, will take a period and not a question at the end, okay? Yes, if you don't have the question formation at the beginning, you're not going to use the question mark at the end, okay? Yes. When the introductory segment, which is the first part, the first part is the introductory segment. Yes. It's a question, example, do you, can you tell me, could you tell me, would you mind, could you find out? The resulting statement with the indirect question will take a question mark at the end, all right? That's how it will go. Here, down here. People, let's practice number five. Part number five, use the introductory phrases and questions to write indirect yes, no questions. Compare answers with a partner. Guys, guys, we got this. We got it, we got it. We got six sentences here. And uh, well, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this one. It might take a few minutes. <laughs> it looks difficult. Go ahead. If you have any questions, I'm here. I'm going to give you around six minutes to finish. One minute per each sentence. Thank <clears throat> you. 
Let me know if you need help. <clears throat> Did you finish now? Almost, not yet. No, yet. Okay. Teacher can ask yes. a question. Mm -hmm. And the number three. Mm -hmm. um, Seria, do you know if the schedule and production counter forms are complete? Yes. Yes. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Are you guys done? Are you halfway through? Are you done? I think it's about time to start sharing.
it requires a lot of thinking, right? You have to find the correct structure or the correct order. For me, it's difficult the the I don't know how to say the the phrase mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that use will. Yes. Oh, okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. They are very long. They are very long. That's why they are a little difficult. But let's start with the first one. Let me see. I volunteer for the first one. I volunteer for the first one. Please go ahead. Hello. Could be, could be, can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these, these processes? With question mark. Repeat, please. <laughs> I was right. Okay. Can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Okay, there you go. Guys, do you agree with Magdaleno in this answer? Yes, no, never. Yes. <laughs> hey, gracias, Pastor. In the phone call. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is correct. It is correct. Okay, that's the one. That's the one. That one is good. That one is good. Excellent. Let's continue with the second one. I need another volunteer for the second one. People, let's hurry. Go ahead. The, la the next one, number two. Another volunteer. Yes, yes. Teacher, this uh, can be me. Yes. I'd like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce or orders on time. Orders on time. I'm writing without even looking at the one. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. If I made a mistake with the spelling, forgive me because I was writing without looking. All right, look, it says here, I like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery, machinery, okay, to produce orders on time. Guys, do you agree with Pamela's answer? No, yes, probably, yes. perhaps. Okay, it is, it is correct. Okay, I would like to know if the manufacturer will buy. It is correct there. Okay, we have the, 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 the question, the indirect question order here. Number three, number three, number three. Uh, I'm going to choose people. Let me see. Number three, uh, help us, Fatima. Um, do you know if the schedule and production control forms are complete? Mm, production control forms are complete. Yes. Do you know if the schedule and production control forms are complete? Yes. Number four, Holman, can you help us with number four, please? Holman, hello. I, I would like to find, find out. Yes, sorry, wait, wait. If does the operation plan describe the if, process? Sorry, if? If does. Okay, does is for questions, we don't need it here. Okay, we eliminate does. If the operation. If the operation plan describe the process parameters 
the process, the process parameters. Parameters. Guys, let's go over here. Well, look, no question. Okay, sorry. It's not a question. But look, uh, we still we still have a mistake here. Can you tell me what the mistake is? We have only one mistake here. The, the S on the right. Exactly, exactly. Since we had the auxiliary does in third person in simple present, we have to use the S in describes, okay? Yes, because we're talking about the present using the simple present. Next, uh, let's continue with the next one real quick. It says, do you have any idea, guys? Anybody? Do you have any idea? If if we will go for a small batch or mass production. Small batch, small batch. Okay, do you have any idea if we will go for a small batch or mass production? Okay, yes, yes, it is correct. And the last one, guys, let's do this one real quick. I was wondering. Yes, I was wondering, guys. If you if, receive, Pamela, hi. Hello, I was wondering if you received mm -hmm. quotes of the raw material providers. Okay, I wonder if you received the past form, right? If you, if you receive. Of the role. Okay, no, it's not a question. Sorry. Okay, very good. Yes, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay, we got everything over here. Before I erase this and I stop sharing, do you have any questions? No, no questions. I have a question with one word in the last one. I don't know what is the pronunciation. What? Yes, yes. Yes, that's what it is. That one, exactly. What is it in Spanish? I don't know I what think... is in Spanish. Sorry? What is? No. What is? No. It's, it's citas. Citas. This word could it quote is, is citas. Yes, that's what it is. Like uh how can I tell you this? Like a document. But uh I don't know how to do it. When you ask for for uh how can I tell you this? It's a list, like a list of, of uh, items. You know, with, with prices, cotization, I think it is. Like that, yes. Quotation, excuse me, quotation? No. Uh -huh, like quotation, exactly. Yes. The same as quotation, yes. Yes, that word. All right. Let's. All right. It's, it's almost time. Well, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had not seen the time. It's it's very late already. I apologize. Let me load the attendance list real quick. What's mm -hmm. quotation? Here. Moved it too much. 
Okay, let's start with attendance, Maria Turcius. <laughs> Adriana Maria Turcius. Carlos Elivaldo. Abreu. Yes. yes, hello, thank you. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. Christopher Espitia Chipawa. Present teacher. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector wasn't here today. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman was not here today. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Present. Lucy Natalie Juarez is sick today, but she's there. Present. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Yes, Nelson Antonio Rodas. Uh, we got Oscar Armando Romero. We see him over there, but I think his internet is not good either, or his microphone, I don't remember, with Oscar. Uh, Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present. Roberto Carlos Hernandez Cruz. Present. And the last one, Rosalina Alvarado. Yes, Gabriel. Present. Sure. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Okay, guys, excellent, thank you very much. I apologize for the time that I took from you. <laughs> yes, I really, really apologize. All right, we got nothing else to do. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, sleep, and just rest, okay? People, good night. See you tomorrow, all right? Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi everyone. I'm gonna show you the word that you guys were mentioning at the end. This one. Quote. Quote. With S. Quotes. All right. Quotes. I'm going to give you some examples and you, you're gonna see the context of it. All right. Yes. Uh, look, I quoted. Uh, Shakespeare, I think it's Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Let me see, what can I say about Shakespeare? Uh, Shakespeare. I got Shakespeare phrases. Okay, yes. It means, it means that I have mentioned, I have mentioned Shakespeare's phrases, okay? Or that I have shared, posted, uh, or said exactly the words that Shakespeare said or wrote, okay? That is quoted, quote, quoted. It's a regular verb, right? Regular verb. And also we can use it in a different context. Look, the, excuse me, it's difficult for me to write like this. The, uh, let me see, supervisor, supervisor. The supervisor quoted, sorry, simple fast, quoted a price. Okay, in these cases, we're talking about budget. So we're using quoted as budget, okay? Budget is when you have a, uh, or when you assign money to specific areas of a project, okay, that's quoted, okay, simple past. And uh, the word quote can be used in, a, in different contexts, 
Over here, we have two different contexts. And these ones are the most common ones. Quote, the first one is when you, hold on. Quoted, the first one with, with Shakespeare, it's when you are sharing, posting, publishing, saying the exact words from a Shakespeare's book or from whatever he said, but you're sharing exactly the same, the same words or the same sentences. In the second part, the supervisor quoted a price. It means that he was asking in different stores about the price of a specific product and he was taking notes. Okay, let's say for example, a soccer ball, okay? Maybe this person, this supervisor went to different sport uh, stores mm -hmm. to, to get a ball, to buy a ball, a soccer ball or a tennis ball, whatever, yes? And he was going to different places to see which price has, sorry, which place has the less or the least uh, expensive ball, okay? That's what it is. It's a, it's a difficult word to, to, uh, to use, okay? It's not very common. It's, it's a very good word. It's very formal, all right? Guys, continue with the practice. I will see you soon. Take care. And, uh, well, practice makes perfection. So that means keep the practice going. Peace.